You want to know why they really tried to set you up? Because they knew that you was going to be the one to get that job. You will be the one to get the higher position. That you would be the number one draft pick. They knew it. Do you want to know why they really tried to run you off from that establishment? It's because they knew that you was the one that everybody was rooting for to get the next position. They knew that you were the one everybody was rooting for to be the one. I mean, that one. You know, you that one anyway. Everybody knew. So they purposely tried to run you away from there. They tried to make it as miserable as possible for you being there. See, the real reason they do these malicious acts against you is because they know that you have something that they don't have. They know that there is something different about you, as I always tell you. When they see that light shining in you, that you are able to do the job tip top, I mean, just on point every single time. They know it. They know that you're going to be the one to do the job the proper way. You're going to be the one to do the sing the song the way the Holy Spirit allows you to. You, you're allowing the most high to use you. They know that when you do hair, the hairstyle going to be on point each and every time. See, this is why they try to bring people against you. They try to manipulate so many things about your life because they don't want you to shine above them. They don't want you to outdo them because they know that everybody's going to come to you. I was watching this video the other day and I saw where this woman, she came into town. She started her own business and there were other people in that marketplace who had businesses too. But she had everybody coming to her and this woman would pray each and every day and bless her business each and every day. But these people had done so many evil, wicked things to bring down other people's businesses so that other people could come to them. But they couldn't break her. They couldn't break this woman because she was a praying woman. She knew what to do. And each and every time she had a problem, she would bring it to the Lord. And that's the thing about you. You so close and filled with the Most High that He allows you to outshine so many other people that are trying to use manipulative tactics to bring you and other people down. See, God knows that you're going to do things the right way. He knows that you're going to bless other people too. See, you're here to set it up for to be able to help other people. But all the other people want to do is bring everybody else down so that they can win. See, when people think about themselves only and they only want what's best for them and ain't worried about nobody else, how can they ever be blessed? How can you be blessed if you are not here to help others? Because that's what we're here for anyway, right? We're here to help other people. And see, this is why they try and manipulate your life. You wonder why the people in your family, the people around you are not wanting to support you. You post the video. You post something online. You do something out of the ordinary and you're actually recommended for it or commended for it and they don't want to acknowledge it they're not going to bring it up they're not going to say nothing half the time they're going to commend somebody else right there in front of you and they're going to commend that person for doing whatever they did but they won't they won't acknowledge what you did that's because what you did really frustrated them that it frustrated their demons it frustrated the plan the manipulation that they were doing to try and stop you but you actually outdid yourself baby you outdid yourself this time and they don't get it that when you serve almighty god that everything that you do is gonna prosper no weapon type in the comments no weapon see the real tea about you is that you can't be duplicated you can't be matched a lot of times they'll try to copy what you do because they want to take you down they want to make people think that you're the one copying them y'all know how that goes each and every time see when they tried to get rid of you they were their plans were to duplicate you and copy what you were doing to make it look like they were the ones who started everything it was all about them being the ones who first started it, who was the best singer, who was the best worker, who's the best child in the family. Like, who's the best one to make it, baby? That's what they want. They don't want you to be seen for who you are. But the thing about it is everybody knows. They see something in you. It's so weird to me how people are. It's weird to me how this individual or these people will try to manipulate people's lives to make themselves look good everybody has a way to shine god has given everyone a purpose and a plan to out live this in this life and it's no way shape form or fashion that this individual these people could have ever taken you for what you have because god already gave it to you y'all know what the lord gives no man can take away 
No man can take you take what you got. They can't take your blessing. They can't take your gifts. And they sure can't take your destiny because it's already predestined by the Most High God. So them thinking that they done already... See, people will think... They will literally think that they took what was yours. But God will switch it up. I always tell y'all there's a plot twist in everything somebody tries to do. Because he causes all things to work together for the good of them that love God. And who are called according to his plan and purpose. So whatever they did. Even if they did manipulate you. Even if they did send you somewhere else. Or get you to leave that establishment. Whatever they did. you know, Even if they did get you to leave the community where you were. And you leave, left and went to another state or wherever you went. It doesn't matter because there's always a plot twist in how God is going to get you back on that path, on that journey to your destiny. They can think it all they want. See, that's the thing about it. God will allow these people to think they won against you. He will allow them to think that what they did actually prospered, y'all. And these people will be sitting here laughing and joking and talking about you like, girl, I got, I did what I had to do. You already knew she was going to leave. I already knew I was going to get the position before. I already knew. But see, all the while, God already had something bigger and better for you. All the while. And he got you right back on the right path where you were supposed to be. See, those little bumps and bruises and, you know, that that's just a little, that's just a little thing. You know, that those are the little things that happen in our lives. But the bigger things are when God shows up and he changes everything and he actually brings your enemies to shame that's why he says vengeance is mine because he already know that what he does in the background is way bigger than what we could ever do it's way bigger and when you get out there and you see how god has really shifted the situation you're gonna know because many of them won't be in that position for long many of them won't be where they thought they were gonna be they won't be where they thought they were gonna be in the beginning i'm telling y'all once they thought out this whole entire plan to destroy you and take you out they can't even hold the position because the way you move baby you you way more you're way more wise it's your wisdom the wisdom that the most high has given you that causes you to outshine these people it causes you to benefit from the things around you because like i said whatever they brought against you is going to cause you to be in a better place a better position it's going to cause people to see you from a different point of view especially way different from what they tried to say that you were. They will try to they try to make people see you in a different light to where you were not who you were saying you were, but the way that God is doing it. He's shifting the atmosphere. He's shifting everything in your life. He's shifting everything in the chosen one's life because he knew already that the enemy was going to try to use these people to try to destroy you. So he had to come up with a plan to bring that plot twist into play. Period. See, the crazy part about it is this person never wanted to see you smile. They never wanted to see you happy. They tried to bring you to the position of being defeated, feeling like the defeated foe, someone who lived in depression, sadness, anxiety. But we already know that the Lord, that is not of the Lord. So that has to flee anyway. And every time you smile, it was almost like, why is this smiling? Why they, why they always smile? And see how confident you are when it comes to the most high. It's like you carry his glory with you and people see it whoever this is they are not of good they're not of the light i'm just gonna be honest because when you shine your light it makes them upset because they know that you have something to smile about there's something inside of you that's keeping you going and with you you ain't gonna let nobody bring you to their position of being that low but they wanted you there See, the shift is taking place to where this person will not be enjoying anything that they tried to, that they thought they took from you. They won't be able to enjoy it. Now they're not smiling. Now they're not happy. They don't have a reason to smile because they are not enjoying the fruits. I'm going to say, quote unquote, fruits of their label because it wasn't their fruit. Like I said, they tried to do what you were doing. And this is how they got to the position. This is how they got people to like them, to, you know, acknowledge them because they started to act like you. It's crazy when people try to act like you, right? Like, why would you act like me? You got your own personality. The thing about it is your personality and the way that you are, it comes from the divine. It comes from a place of pureness. Of being loved and loving other people and that cannot be duplicated love the way that you love people cannot be duplicated because it's real especially with this person they don't carry the spirit of love in their heart 
and they really thought that they were going to take you out. But God is saying that he's getting ready to shift your life into a newer beginning this is a newer beginning you may have started a, a new beginning at the new year but this here is a new beginning a newer beginning he wants to cause you to be able to even just look at a person and be able to bring them to a place of happiness and joy just by looking at them when you acknowledge people it makes them feel something it makes them feel some type of way. And see, like I said, this is why you are dealing with someone who does not like that about you. But this here is on a whole nother level. He's also going to restore the things that this person took from you. He's putting you on a path, a new path. It's like he's taking you off this path where you had negative individuals in your circle. And he's placing you on, on a newer path where you're going to be around people who are actually going to accept exactly who you are they won't be jealous of you they won't envy you they won't try to plot up against you this will be your turning point type in the comments this is my turning point and god is wanting to wipe away all of the negativity this is why you're going to start to see certain people not be able to contact you anymore not be able to come around you anymore it's going to be different now you're going to see a lot of people that really truly are connected who really has the spirit of love in their heart coming around you to bless you to to help you to love on you for real for real this is the newer beginning that we all need in our life people that really really support us and this is what god is doing in this season and i want you to get ready get happy and get ready to be established in an on a new path this is yours this is your season i'm telling you this is your purpose and everything that you have been waiting for is coming into fruition i'm telling you the enemy thought he stopped you but he couldn't stop what god has for you because you are blessed and highly favored so you better get ready baby all right y'all i'm gonna end it here please be sure to like comment and subscribe share the video let everybody know that the diva has arrived and yeah if you want to get to the channel cash up dollar sign diva tv or you can do so through super thanks which is the heart down below and get my merch okay get my merch and let me see you wearing it let me see you rocking it. Email me a picture of you wearing my merch. Okay? I love you guys. Peace and blessings. Mwah.